Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In our last lesson we set up the structure for our web page and now it's time to set up the structure for the content of our page. I'm going to go and open up the main HTML document and this is the structure we set up in our last lesson. We created our opening and closing head tags and within that we placed our title for the web page. We also created an opening and a closing body tags and as yet we haven't put anything in here but that's what we're going to do during this lesson. To explain a little more clearly what we're doing I'm going to switch over to the finished website and we can see here that our web page is sitting in the centre of this widescreen monitor. Around the outside you can see this black crumpled paper effect and that's the body of the web page. Imagine if you will everything on our web page as being a box that will hold content and can be positioned anywhere on our web page. If we place the content within boxes we can format them to look the way that we want and to be positioned where we want them positioned. So the outer area here, this is the body area. And if we come across slightly, we can see this dark gray outline here. And that stretches all the way around our content area. This is called an outer area. Then we have this black area inside which all of our content is held. And this black area is called the wrapper. So just to recap, we've got our body area the dark grey line around everything we can see on our page is our outer and the black area is called the wrapper. So let's switch back to Dreamweaver. We can see here our opening and closing body tags. So inside of those tags I'm going to insert a box or a division and as we saw the outer dark grey area we called the outer area. So I'm going to open up a tag and type in div for division. I'll type a space and I need to give this division an ID. So I'll type in ID followed by an equal sign. Then I need opening quotation marks and the ID that I want to give it is outer. Close quotation marks and then close the tag. Now every time we open a tag remember we have to close it so I'm going to type the opening angle bracket followed by the slash and Dreamweaver will close that tag for me. Now when Dreamweaver closes tags it just puts the forward slash div and we're going to have a lot of closing divs so it's a good habit to get into to place a comment on each div identifying what that closed div relates to. Now to type a comment we type in the opening angle bracket followed by an exclamation mark and two dashes and you'll notice that all the text beneath that now has been greyed out it's all in a comment area I can then type in outer followed by two dashes and then a closing angle bracket and what this does is it identifies this as being the closing div for this outer div just here. This piece of text is completely ignored by the browser and we can use this feature to put any kind of comment that we want to on our page. So a good habit to get into, place your comment after your closing divs as you create them. Another thing to remember is code is much easier to read if it's laid out well. And as this div is inside the body div, I'm gonna press the tab key so that it's slightly indented and now we know that this entire div section is within the body. I can also remove any unwanted lines from the code so that it tidies it up nice and neatly. So we've got our outer div within the body. 
Now the outer contained the third item that we looked at earlier, the wrapper. So our wrapper is going to go inside the outer div. So if I give myself a little space and press the tab key, I can now create the wrapper div within the outer div. And we do that again by typing div id equals wrapper. And I've opened this div, so I need to close it. And we'll put our comment in there. So now you'll see that our wrapper div is sitting inside our outer div, which is sitting inside the body div. Okay, let's just for a second go back to our completed website. So we've got our body area, we've created our outer area, and we've also created our wrapper area, which is shown in black here. Within the wrapper area, everything else is contained. So we've got our logo image at the top, we've got the photo, we've got our social media icons, our navigation system, and our fading banner, plus all the other bits and pieces on this page. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to create divs for each of these items. And right at the top, I've got the logo area, and then I've got this photo. Just underneath that, I've got the social media icon area. So that's three divs, and these are the three that we'll work on next. So let's switch back to Dreamweaver. Now remember, all of those items are within the wrapper. So what we'll need to do is to make some space in the wrapper area. And once again, we'll type a tab. And the first one was the logo. So I will create a div for the logo. And of course we need to close it. And a little tip for adding this identifying text is to copy and paste and then simply rename that to logo. Okay, the next part was the image. So in the top right of the screen, we had that photo. So I'll create a div for that, and I'm gonna call this one top-photo. And close that one off. Now when you're giving your divs IDs, they mustn't contain spaces. You can use underscores or dashes, as I've done here, but no spaces are allowed in the ID. I've opened this div, now I need to close it. So again, I'll just type angle bracket and the forward slash, and I'll paste and change this to photo top. So that shows me the end of the top photo div. And the third area we looked at was the social media icons. So again, I'll create my opening div. Call that one social media. Then we'll close it off. Okay. So we now have our logo, our top photo, and our social media div. Let's quickly switch back to the live view. Next thing we've got here is our navigation system. And underneath that, we have our banner. So let's go back into Dreamweaver and do those two. So still within the wrapper area, 
we're still working within that area, we'll come down and we will set up a div for the navigation. And we'll call this top nav. And close that div. And again, directly under that, the next one was the banner area. So we'll have a div called banner. And once again, we need to close that one. So there's our banner div. Let's now switch back to our website. And if I scroll down just underneath the banner area, we've got the area for the content itself. So this is the content area containing some text a couple of images, some more text, and then these three boxes. So let's just go and set those up now. I'll switch back to Dreamweaver. And underneath the banner section, we'll have a div for content. So again, open square brackets, div content. Now our content area also contained the three boxes at the bottom. So our boxes are actually going to be placed inside the content area. So I'll give myself a little bit of space. Again, we'll tab in and I'm going to open a div and give it the ID box. and close that div. Now we had three of these, so I can simply copy and paste. So I'll highlight that and I can come up to edit and choose copy. And then I'll click on line 42 and use control V on the keyboard to paste. And let's just space that out a little bit. So there's one box, there's two. Let's make a little bit of space underneath and we will paste the third one in. So there's my content section with the opening div and closing div for the content. And inside that we've got one, two, three divs for the three boxes at the bottom of the screen. Let's just quickly switch back to our web page and scroll right down the bottom. Down here you can see we've got a footer section. So that's going to be the last div we, that we create. So we'll go back to Dreamweaver and now outside of the content area but still within the wrapper area, let's have a, another div And we'll call this footer. Close the bracket and close the div. I'll now need to type in the comment for this one. There we go. So we've got the opening and closing footer div at the bottom there. Okay, so we'll save this and we've now completed our structure for our content and that's what it looks like. In the next video we'll start adding some content within these structures.